Hi, Bobby Dolls. I'm the so Bobby, Bobby Lover in West Hollywood. Thanks for watching my video. Have you watched my last video yet? So I showed you NCLA Bobby gel nail collection in my last video. And so today I was going to show you an easy Bobby nail art tutorial. But actually I was filming from very beginning because I never showed you how I prepare before putting gel. I really wanted to show you how to prepare before putting gel nail because I know some of you might really want to go NCLA Barbie collection but maybe you don't know how to put gel by yourself, right? So I really wanted to share whole gel nail process, the preparation part. I think it might be really useful if you're trying to start doing your nails by yourself. So I hope you enjoy watching it. Today I try not to use professional tools but with something you could get from drugstore. And in this video, my nails look so rough because I just removed gel nail. So the surface looks a little bit rough but it's not like a nail disease or anything. So please don't be worried about nails. These are totally fine. <laughs> Let's start. So right now, I just removed gel nail off and they kind of look messy because I haven't buffed the surface yet. So only the surface look a little rough but actually they're not thin or anything at all. They're totally healthy so don't worry. So first of all, let me push up the cuticle. I usually use metal pressure like this but it's for professional too. So today I'm going to show you with this orange wood stick. You can get this from any drugstore or beauty supply store. I recommend to file the corners because these are pretty sharp and you could totally cut yourself. So I recommend to file the corners. Like this. And also the edge too. Like this. And let me push up the cuticle. So don't push too hard, not like this angle, but more like, like this. I don't push too hard. Don't put too much pressure. Oh, and you know what? When you do nail, maybe some people go like this, right? But always try to do with like this. So actually, when you do your nails by yourself, don't put your hands on the table like this, but try doing more like your elbows like this your arms are kind of stable actually go like this this angle and when you put your hand on the other hand like this see your hand is really stable so try this I mean for the first time I know it's kind of hard but when you get used to it you will notice this is easier and also you could do your nails way better because you can see your actual nail closer compared from when you are putting your hand on the table like this distance but when you can do with this you can see closer so you won't miss painting or anything so try this posture okay I only do my left hand first so we can compare later. And next I'm gonna file. It's a brand new nail file. And when you use the brand new one, please file the edge. I always use another nail file, file the corner like this. Because the very fresh nail file is so sharp on the corner. So it could totally cut your skin. I've done it before, so be careful. Always make sure the corners are kind of smooth. And now let's file. So when you file the natural nails, you can always file in one way. Don't file like this, like a round way. You could do the only way you have gel or acrylic on your nails. If you file natural nails like a round way, like this, it could cause brittle nails, so don't do that. Always try to file one way. I recently like between arm and oval, like skinny oval. With oval or round nails, usually gel lasts longer. I recommend to make the index finger and ring fingers same length, but the middle finger should be a little bit tiny bit longer because usually middle finger is wider than these two so I recommend to make the middle one a little longer so they can have good balance
And when you are filing, check from this side too. Like sometimes when you think you are filing straight, but when you see from this side, sometimes they look so crooked. So check with both ways. Now I'm gonna buff the surface. So you need to buff the surface. But don't buff too much. We don't wanna make our nails too thin. I like this look, it's totally fun. Don't forget to buff around the cuticle area. And also I buff the edge too. Take the dust off with nail brush. Like a cuticle eraser. It's made of ceramic stone. You can push up and kind of take the excess skin. Don't scratch too hard. And now it's getting cleaner, right? If you compare to this side, you can see the cuticle area is more pushed up. So even without cuticle nipper, it became like this. You see the difference, right? So compared to my right hand, haven't done anything. Even without professional tools, the cuticles are pushed back. Yeah. The surface is buff enough, so ready for gel. So now my nails are ready for putting gel. So in my next video, I will show you Barbie nail art tutorial. So I hope you enjoy watching my another video as well. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you like my video, subscribe my channel, and follow me on Instagram. Hope you have pink-tastic Barbie day. Bye.